Good afternoon, my coolest of kids. How is everybody doing on this absolutely wonderful Sunday? For the first time in a while, we haven't had any rain today. Um, and also, not humid outside. So it was actually really nice. And then you know what ended up happening? I went against one of my own rules. I literally woke up this morning later than usual, which made me already feel bad about myself, like I was lazy. And I really didn't have anything to look forward to today. Nothing I had to do today. Nothing going on today at all. And then I got to thinking about an almost humorous event that happened um, this past winter. Uh, living in New Hampshire, that does happen. Like, crazy winters. Anyways, why don't you guys come take a little walk with me and I'll we'll talk. So, I actually had nothing to do today. I was feeling a little down on myself. Like, ugh, God, Rob, you're going to do something with Sunday. This is the only day of the week that I usually never, ever have to work. And I have the whole day to myself. I could sleep in and do whatever I want. Well, I did accomplish that whole sleeping in part and getting a little extra rest. But now what am I going to do with myself for the rest of the day? I'm going to feel like a slum bum for the rest of the day. Well, being in New Hampshire, we had a blizzard this winter, this past winter. Obviously, that's not much of a big surprise. But... This blizzard was a like a, it sounds kind of strange, but a warm blizzard, which means that it was in like the upper 20s to uh, low 30s temperature wise, which makes the snow be very heavy that's coming down. Now up in this right here, these couple trees that you're seeing, this whole tree area right here, I had a, what I like to call a tree stand, but literally it was a, um, a big tree house for, for big boys, you know, anytime kids came over, they always wanted to go up there, but what it was actually used for was shooting bows, archery bows, compound bows, because that's one of my very many hobbies that I love to do. It's so much fun. And when I found out I was going to be at this house for quite some time, rent to own situation kind of thing, I decided to build myself one. And actually, you can even see one of the targets right there. I have a bunch of what they call decoys as well that are in that little uh, barn, barn shed that's back over that way. I don't like to get them wet and all messed up, but this thing's more of like a permanent fixture. They're shaped like animals. I put them all out throughout here. But anyways, I had... That big tree stand thing up here, whatever you want to call it, a tree house or whatever. That storm came through, very, very heavy, heavy, heavy snow, about a foot and a half of snow. Already really heavy. And then the winds came through, and that whole thing came crushing down. Blah, 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 blah. So then it's all over the ground out back here, and I'm like, oh man, I'm going to have to take care of that, you know, when it's not frozen to the ground anymore. Well, then spring comes around, right? Rain, 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 rain. And we have a river right over here. And then flood came in from over there. Oh, my God. Blah, blah, blah. Flood. And it took all of the debris from the tree stand that fell down and went. Blah. Well, thank you, nature. You took care of that for me. Don't have to worry about that anymore. But now here comes, you know, the summer is coming up towards the end again. And deer season will be back on in about a month and a half. And I'm not going to be able to practice from up in the air. Which when you're out in the woods hunting or when you're in competitions like 3D shoots out in the woods, you are up in tree stands taking shots down at animals or targets. And you want to be able to practice that back at home. So what I was able to do today was not build another one down here in the lower trenched area where, uh, you know, the water coming through and things like, like that nature would maybe destroy it again. What I did the other day, a couple weeks ago, was actually purchase a, a tree stand that has its own stairs and its own metal tripod area that can sit in an, you know, in a back in a spot. I wanted to put it up against this hill here, but everything looked like this over here. <laughs> And it was actually a little bit worse in this area, but I liked where it was because I can have some trees as the back support for it. I had to use a chainsaw, till, everything else. And as I was doing it, you know, I was like, oh my god, this is my day off. Why am I working to do this? Why am I doing this to myself? But as it kept going on further and further, I felt more accomplished, more happy. I was like, I'm just going to do a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Until I actually got to this point where it doesn't look like anything too special or spiffy or anything else. But I'm actually at the point now where I can just put some topsoil down, put some uh, grass seed in, and poof, I'm going to have myself an extra little piece of yard for one. And for two, I'm going to be able to put that mobile tree stand up and be able to shoot out here and practice for my shoots and, my, and, and also for hunting. And that is like a big hobby of mine. I love that. And getting that accomplished today on a day where I didn't think I was going to be doing diddly skiddly made me feel so good. And I think to myself, you know, that must not be the only person. Like, when it's something that you don't really actually have to do it, 
like something, if you have like a deadline on something on a day off, like you're like, oh man, I really wish I didn't have to do this. Uh, I just want to take this day for myself and do things for my, like, you know, relax and, and just chill out. And you just can't do it. You're miserable. But when it's your own choice, it just seems like it's a totally different, absolutely just an entirely different thing. And the fact that I was able to get all of that accomplished today and get that all set up and be all ready uh, to be able to put my tree stand back out there, probably after the grass grows, I'll put it out there. Uh, that way there, I got like the grass already all set up and already in there and all uh, rooted. And you know, it just made me so happy to be able to have that done. Now, I'm actually done early enough where I'm going to be able to go watch my Red Sox win again. Um, I know it's a little bit harder for our friend Silver Seeker with being a Cardinals fan and all. You know, I feel bad for them. Uh, 2004 and 2007, I believe. In the, oh, 2013 in the World Series. I think we beat them both times. Oh, God. I just feel so bad. You know, after going 86 years without a World Series from 1918 to 2004. <laughs> just kidding. But anyways, yeah, that was my day. It made me feel good. And I wonder if you guys have the same kind of thing. Like, does that make you happy doing the same thing? Being able to get something accomplished that you didn't have to do or something. Just being able to find something on a day where it was just like, eh. And then realizing that you've accomplished something that you thought was going to take you like an entire week because you're lazy. That's me. And you know what else I actually found at the same time? Look at that. This is going to be my new walking stick by the time I'm done walking, uh, whittling it down and making it look all purdy. It's going to be real nice. Real nice. Very happy about that. Anyways, positive vibes for a positive life and always portray the best possible version of you. Not only to everyone else, but also to yourself. Stay true to yourselves. Have yourselves a wonderful day.